Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, first, we're gonna check out what Sergio Oliva looks like at this point in his prep, and he's about 9-10 weeks out of Chicago Pro. This right here was his first update, when he started prepping for Chicago Pro, and this was about 4 weeks ago. So when I saw this, I thought he went a little bit too heavy uh, for the offseason, he got a little bit chubby. I mean, I wasn't really doubting that he's gonna be in shape by the time Chicago happens, because there is enough time, but I wasn't exactly blown away with his off-season conditioning, with his shape, he was a little bit too chubby, you know, too relaxed, but now, four weeks later, he got really shredded, I gotta give it to him, in just four weeks, about 25 days or so, he lost so much fat, and he's starting to look sharper and harder, and there is still 10, 9, 10 weeks ago, something like that. So in that time, in those 9-10 weeks before the Chicago Pro happens, he can do so much. I'm sure he will be ready beforehand, a couple of weeks before the show, and then he can just play with, with food and everything. I mean, his coach is Chris Asito, I believe, so these guys know what they're doing. And you guys need to remember that uh, Sergio placed 5th, beating Cedric and some other really good guys at the Arnold Classic last year. And also, he's a tall guy, so he weighs a lot. Like, he was 280 on that stage at the Arnold Classic. So this year, he's gonna be probably bigger. I mean, can he come at 290, 285 on the stage? I mean, yeah, he's a little bit taller. He's 6 foot, but he's not like 6 foot 3 or something. So that's very heavy. He has a wide, wide frame, wide shoulders, a really big frame. And he didn't really fill it up completely. If he fills it up completely, he's gonna be unstoppable, probably. And we also gotta remember that he's the son of the legend, the myth Sergio Oliva Sr. So he's a son of a bodybuilding legend, a legend of the sport. And so there is so much potential to this guy, probably more than we can imagine. If he can actually pull it together and gain a few more pounds and come really shredded, he can be one of the heavy hitters. And he's 36, so he still has a few years left to make some big progress, big change, so let's wait and see what happens at this Chicago Pro, I still do have a Kim Williams top 6 Mr. Olympian winning, but it might happen to be Sergio, or even Hunter Labrada, anyways guys, stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, I'm gonna update you as soon as it happens, and if any more updates come up before the show, I'm gonna update you with that as well, so again, subscribe. Okay, next up, we have an off-season update of William Bonac, he is qualified for the Mr. Olympia, so he doesn't have to compete the whole year. And there is no Arnold Classic in March, so he didn't have to prep for that, which is something he usually does. And prepping for William Bonac, it usually comes easy to him, because he has this crazy fast metabolism, he's always in shape. When have you seen Bonac out of shape? Even in the off-season, even when he relaxes a little, he's always shredded, basically. And uh, he also maxed out his muscularity, because he's a 212 competitor. His frame is... Unlike Sergio Oliva's very small, and he filled that up maximally, like, there is no more room for the muscle in his frame. You wouldn't say that looking at this photo right here, because he's not exactly 100% on here, but when he's full-blown, uh, there is no more room for, for muscle. <laughs> so, he doesn't have to have a strong off-season, what he needs to have is good maintenance. He just needs to maintain the muscle size, and doesn't get injured and stay pretty lean so he can get shredded easily, so he doesn't have to lose a lot of a lot of weight and then lose the fullness and everything. I think that's why he would do Arnold Classic and not uh, have a full off season, because he doesn't need to, he maxed out, and there is money, you know, in winning Arnold Classic and just being uh, competitive, doing all the shows throughout the whole year. It's easy for him, I mean, in that way, because he can get lean so easily, he can maintain that conditioning, he doesn't have to progress in terms of uh, muscle gains, so it's all good for him, I mean, that's what he usually used to do, but now there is no Arnold Classic, and he went off, probably, and there is a video that he posted, and he basically said that he started prepping. And this video is taken one week after he started training, hard, prepping, and he's a hyper-responder, so he already gained some fullness, but you can still get the idea that he lost some, that he wasn't as big as he was before, and as hard, but here he looks much better than the previous update ahead of him, the last time I updated you with his physique, he looked significantly smaller than this, so he gained a lot of size back, and we'll see what he's gonna look at the Mr. Olympia, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get in his old shape. But based on the previous year and the years before, it seems like he's going downhill. It seems like the age and like probably wear and tear and everything, 
is slowing him down a little. I mean, 2019 he was third, but it was a very depleted lineup. Last year he was fifth. But can he sustain his position in top five against all the other top pros that are barking at the door? I mean, so many great bodybuilders want that top five position and they are improving. They're getting better and better every year. And William Bonek seems like he's falling out of it. We'll see what's going to happen this year, but I have an idea that he is not going to be in top five this year. What do you guys think? All right, we have an update of Dennis Wolf, who is retired. A long time ago he retired. And he had a little comeback that wasn't exactly successful, not for his standards. So he decided to fully retire and right now his weight is, you're gonna see it in a second, it's 210 pounds. Which is very light for a guy of his, of his height and his frame and everything. So he did lose a lot of size. But hey, he's healthy, he doesn't have to let his body, especially his heart and all the other organs, go through maintaining such a high weight that he used to be at in the offseason, probably over 300 pounds. And also, I mean, he's not fat, right? He's lean. He's pretty shredded for a retired guy. He has a lot of a lot of vascularity, a lot of conditioning, and that's great. I think it's impossible for Dennis Wolf to get fat. No way, no way. He is notoriously known for being the guy with one of the craziest, fastest metabolisms in bodybuilding. So he was filling up with like 5,000 grams of carbs over three days, two days, something like that. An insane amount, an insane amount. So he is known for being one of the guys that can actually eat a lot, a lot of food and still uh, lose weight. It's very, very hard for him to gain weight if he wanted to be a little bit bigger in his retired days. If he wanted to be like 240, which would look more aesthetic, which would look much better than this, honestly, I'm pretty sure. He would have to force himself to eat more, right? He would have to be on a regimen. I don't think he can be more than this. Uh, he can't weigh more than this if he just eats uh, like when he's hungry and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he's tired of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure after all those years of force feeding himself throughout the entire day, I'm sure he wants to take it easy right now, enjoy his uh, retirement, look a little bit skinny, sure, but still be fit and uh, healthy and healthy which is more important so so good for him i hope he enjoys his retirement okay next we have phil heat with another update another one and here his arms look absolutely swole so i don't know who is spreading these rumors that phil heat is retired there is no sign of that he never really said anything like that yeah he took third at the mr olympia but Again, the reason was his stomach, so he can fix that. I mean, theoretically, he can do that, and then he can come and win a Mr. Olympia again. But right now, he does not look small. I mean, yeah, he doesn't look uh, full-blown, for sure. Why would he be? I mean, there is enough time until Mr. Olympia for him to get bigger again. He doesn't have to gain more muscle. No, he gained enough muscle. He has the right amount of muscle on right places, and that's really it. That's it. His physique is done. It's all about conditioning and also fixing the bubble gut, the midsection. But his arms right now, I mean, yeah, he's known for arms. He has one of the best, probably the best arms ever in bodybuilding. But uh, they don't look downsized. I mean, there are a lot of bodybuilders who have really good body parts. And when they retire, it's all gone. Like Dexter Jackson right now, he's way smaller. Uh, that's a retired bodybuilder. Phil Heath is not retired. Maybe he doesn't want to compete anymore. But he doesn't look like he can't compete <laughs> again. He can compete this year for sure and do and do really well. I don't know how much can he actually fix that stomach, but I can definitely see him cracking the top five no matter what. I mean, worst case scenario, fifth spot if he comes with worse midsection. But if he fixes it, if he comes with a tight midsection, he can win the show for sure. So we'll see what's going to happen with Phil Heat, but right now he looks great for the offseason. Big. He doesn't look downsized. No, he looks great. And what about Phil Heath's, let's say, second biggest rival, the guy who dethroned him, actually, Sean Roden, who has been prevented from competing because of that incident. He was accused of something that he probably didn't even do and Mr. Olympia won't let him compete, which is... I don't like it. I want to see Sean Roden on stage. I want to see Mr. Olympia standing behind him. And based on all these captions that he's posting lately, it seems like something is gonna happen. He talks about being motivated, and what can he be motivated for? He is a Mr. Olympia, he won't do freaking Tampa Pro, <laughs> I don't think. And uh, Stanimal also is with him now. Before, when he won the Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden, Stanimal was also training with him. And now they're saying they're just starting. 
what are they starting? I mean, why are they training so hard? I mean, especially Sean, why is he training so hard? I don't think he would be training so hard if he just wanted to look good. And he's talking about the transformation, as you can see right here. He is trying to transform his physique. Is he going to try to transform it just because he wants to look good? I don't think so. A guy on this level, a Mr. Olympia, no, he wants to compete. He wants to compete and there is no quitting. I mean, he has his dreams, he says, and they are his alone and he's not going to stop. Uh, he's not going to quit. No way. And there is a lot of areas he's training really hard and I'm trying to understand why is he doing that, but it seems like he's going to be doing something. So still fighting, still more to be done, he says. More to be done? What else can be done? Another Mr. Olympia? I hope so. I sure as hell do because he does have the, po the potential. The best is yet to come. Hashtag. And let's not forget about this photo that happened not so long ago. I mean, Sean Roden with Dan Solomon, the president of the Mr. Olympia. So what does this tell us? Is Sean Roden coming back this year? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm pretty sure they would keep it as a surprise until the last moment. But I definitely do hope so. I would love to see Sean on the stage back again. Wouldn't you? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.